Hello and welcome back to EFD, where today we're looking in detail at some of the winter window's biggest and best transfers. Five, Philippe Coutinho. Liverpool's Philippe Coutinho has been the most expensive signing of the window, with £142 million taking him from Merseyside to Catalonia. Despite making it clear that he wanted to leave Anfield in the summer and a dodgy start to the season, he still managed seven goals and seven assists in 14 league games for the Reds, averaging a goal contribution every game, as well as six Man of the Match performances for Klopp's side before Christmas. The Brazilian playmaker joined the Blaugrana to link up with the GOAT and former Liverpool teammate Luis Suarez. Depending on Valverde's plans, he has big boots to fill though, either as Neymar's replacement on the left or a more long-term solution to the 33-year-old Iniesta. His sheer quality earned him the privilege of playing through the middle in Liverpool's defence, and half of his goal contributions came while in this role. However, Coutinho will have to adjust to being a small fish in a big pond of attacking talent at the new Camp, as it's unlikely that he'll command Barcelona's midfield in the same way. Over the course of the 16-17 league campaign, Coutinho scored 13 goals and created a total of 65 chances which doesn't hold a candle to the 89 opportunities created by Neymar in his last season in Barcelona. A pass success percentage of 79% puts him 10% under the average pass completion in the Barcelona team. However, their average of 61 shot accuracy is closely matched by the 25-year-old. While he may take 3.5 shots a game, he definitely shows confidence, taking 2.3 of those from outside the box. Coutinho admitted that he was nervous ahead of his January debut for the 24 times in the Liga winners, and we can expect his stats to soar in the Spanish league. He is set to pick up his very first piece of silver at Barca, sitting 11 points clear at the time of writing. 4. Amrik Laporte Amrik Laporte's arrival at Manchester City takes Pep Guardiola's outlay to a mental £448 million, over half of which has been spent on the defence. The Frenchman from Athletic Bilbao cost the blue half of Manchester a club record-breaking £57.1 million. The 23-year-old joins the side who is sitting pretty 12 points clear at the top of the Premier League and is an important acquisition for Pep's defence. The manager has praised the left-footed centre-back for his strength in the air as he wins an average of 2.8 aerial duels a game. That's more than his future defensive partner John Stones, who manages just 1.6 per 90. Laporte has an impressive 83% pass success rate, making an average of 62 passes per game in the Liga, meaning that he should slot into Guardiola's philosophy of playing out from the back very comfortably. The Frenchman matches the Sky Blues' John Stones for tackling and beats the amount that other teammate Otamendi manages per 90. Laporte has averaged 1.9 tackles a game in all competitions. And while he may have averaged five clearances a game for Bilbao, double that cleared by Stones, he probably won't be facing teams as ready to attack in the Premier League. The physicality of the English top flight may test not only his strength, but also his disciplinary record. Over the 17-18 season in Spain, he gave away 0.9 fouls a game and picked up five yellow cards in La Liga, a stat that would put him in the top 10 of offenders in the Prem. 3. Inigo Martinez The most expensive signing within La Liga this window has been the move of Inigo Martinez from Real Sociedad to Athletic Bilbao for €32 million. Euros. This comes neatly behind our examination of City's Laporte as it looks like Martinez will be his replacement. The 26-year-old defender has joined the Basque side for a five-and-a-half-year deal with a release clause of €80 million. Euros despite stating back in 2014 that he would never join Bilbao. Martinez has been at the centre of transfer speculation as rumours flew that both Man City and Barcelona were sniffing around the centre-back. And that's unsurprising when you look closely at his recent performances. He might average a modest 1.5 tackles per game compared to the league's highly rated Samuel Antiti, who manages 2.2 tackles per game, in Barcelona's back line. While Laporte boasts a superior pass completion, it might surprise you that Martinez actually offers more on the attacking front. Laporte, focused on his role at the back, contributed just six chances, but the Basque man contributed over double that, creating 13 chances for his teammates. Martinez has proved he is calm under pressure as well, making 5.1 clearances a game against the attacking might present in Spain, 
a figure that matches that of Laporte. The Spaniard also averaged 2.5 aerial duels won per game. Slightly lower than Laporte, but standing shy of six foot, this isn't too shabby. He's jumped fairly high up the league table, however, with his move to Bilbao taking him well away from the relegation zone and into a comfortable 12th place. 2. Alexis Sanchez Undoubtedly, the biggest transfer saga of the window was 29-year-old Alexis Sanchez, who moved up the league 11 points, going from Wenger's sixth place Arsenal to Mourinho's Manchester United in second. Joining a team rich in attacking options with Lukaku, Rashford, Ibrahimovic and Martial, and Sanchez's ability to play on either side, it hasn't been clear where exactly Alexis will slot in. Over the course of the 2016-17 campaign, he hit the net 24 times, with 21 of those goals coming from within inside the box. Having scored seven goals in 19 appearances at an underperforming Arsenal this season, it looks like he'll be forcing his way into the United starting lineup and will certainly be a help adding to their goal count, as Mourinho's United have scored 21 fewer goals than their neighbours who sit at the top of the league. During his time in the Premier League, Sanchez has contributed 60 goals in 27 assists in 122 league matches. That's an average goal contribution every 0.7 games. Higher than Man United's out and out forward Lukaku, who averages just over a goal contribution every other league match. Unsurprisingly, standing at just 5 foot 6, the ex Barcelona doesn't compare to his new teammate in the air, winning just 0.8 aerial duels this season, compared to Lukaku's 3.4. But he does offer a much different kind of attacking threat, contributing a huge number of goal scoring opportunities to his teammates. So far this season, he averages three key passes every game more than Leo Messi's 2.7, and over treble that of Ansi Martial. 1. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang And from Alexis to his successor at the Emirates, the deal announced on deadline day of the window meant that Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang moved to London for a club record £16 million on a long-term deal. The 28-year-old forward has notched up 98 goals in 144 Bundesliga games for Borussia Dortmund, and had a hand in 172 goals in 213 games in all competitions for San Etienne. That's an average of a goal or an assist every 96 minutes over his career. He scored 16 times this season in 16 games for the Yellow and Blacks, despite their disappointing performance in the league, and he's clearly not been happy in Dortmund. And while he does hit an impressive average of 3.6 shots a match, he takes 2.4 of those from inside the box, and 0.8 of those from the six-yard box. However, his shot accuracy is less than impressive, just 56%. While 27 of his shots this season have been on target, he's fired 21 into the West Fulham Stadion stands. His pass accuracy is better though, meeting his teammates 77% of the time, beating Alexis Sanchez's 74, but way behind pass master Mesut Ozil's 85% pass completion. While he may not assist his teammates so much, he's created just 16 chances. Luckily for the new arrival, he'll be lining up in front of the Arsenal number 11, who set up a huge 66 chances. So Gunas will be hoping that Aubameyang can put the chances away and drag Arsenal into the top four. Thank you for watching. That was five of the best transfers to happen this window. Did I leave anyone out? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like that, why don't you check out yesterday's Stat Wars when we say a very sad goodbye to an utter legend. Don't forget to like and subscribe.